You are the commander in chief, the president of the United States of America, the greatest country on earth. Act like it. The president of the United States is a fraud and a con man. The president of the United States is racist. A lot of us already knew that. If you voted for Trump, you voted for the person who the Klan supported. You voted for the person who Nazis support. They like the racism. They like the misogyny. They like all of it, because if they didn't, they wouldn't support him. Yeah, democratic cities are in chaos right now. Is this what you want from Joe Biden? And they're going to take your country away, and they're taking down the statues. And Crime is rising crime as is they rising. defund police. Oh, my gosh, it's so bad. And they're defunding police. It's like... <sighs> Believe it or not, that was Don Lemon when he was smart. If you can call it smart. Now, obviously, he wasn't correct, but he could at least pretend to be intelligent. He was smart. He was smart enough to play the game, smart enough to survive in the land of liberal insanity. And I'm going to show you, man, in this video that he has now reinvented himself as probably the second dumbest living human. Let me know in the comments who you think is number one. But you guys remember Don Lemon on CNN primetime before he got demoted by CNN to the morning show, which highlighted, among other things, that he apparently doesn't like women very much. He at least doesn't like working with them. And to an even greater degree, it highlighted the fact that he really isn't that bright. I mean, Don Lemon was not bright enough to be kept around CNN, which I think really probably says more than any words ever could about someone's level of intelligence. So he got fired. He took some time off, used a lot of face creams, apparently. And you would think he hit the books and he decided to reinvent himself, make a comeback on X. And it did not go well. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. Elon Musk's face is priceless right here. He's like, bro, dude, I don't have to answer anyone's stupid questions. I don't have to be here. The only reason I'm here is because you started a show on X, my platform, and you asked me to be here. Honestly, if Elon Musk had any idea how truly stupid that Don Lemon really was, I don't think he would have given the interview. I don't think... He would have come. I think he was under the impression, like like I was, like most people were, that Don Lemon must have learned something and would probably treat this as an amazing second chance opportunity. But he didn't. I mean, he is still, he's probably dumber than he used to be. But just to unpack just a little bit of what's going on here. Don Lemon starts a show on the last platform on earth that is dedicated to free speech and free speech first. But he approaches it like he's still part of some corporate media machine. He essentially starts it off by asking Elon Musk if he regrets spending billions and billions of dollars on what is essentially a free speech experiment. And that's amazing. I mean, you just, you just, that's amazing, right? I got to tell you, as dumb as this is, this is not the dumbest moment in the interview. That came when they were talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion, which you'd think would be a perfect topic for Don Lemon, you wouldn't think that anyone on the planet has a better understanding of DEI than Don. Do you believe that people are dying because medical standards, DEI is causing medical standards to be lowered? Do you actually believe people are dying because of that? I, I believe that it, uh, if, if, we, if we lower the standards for what it takes to become a doctor. But you're saying if we lower the standards, yes. but do you believe people are dying because the standards are being lowered? I, I don't or have think that lowered. is yes an issue, but it could become an issue. Okay, but the actual evidence in history shows the exact opposite. If you look at how minorities are treated by the medical system, oh. most doctors okay. most doctors now are white, and there are lots of mistakes in medicine. So you're saying that white doctors are have bad medical care? I'm trying to understand your logic here when it comes to DEI because there's no actual evidence of what you're saying. <laughs> just listen to what you just heard, man. Can you imagine being tone deaf enough to rattle off that word salad and then tell the person you're talking to that you're trying to understand their logic? And then he follows it up with saying, I'm just trying to understand what you're saying. Don, 
the entire world is trying to understand what you just said. He said, most doctors are white and mistakes happen now. So what are you trying to say? White doctors have bad medical care? I mean, honestly, he didn't say whatever he was trying to say properly, but poor Don, man, this is not going well. I don't think, I don't think Elon can even believe how unintelligent Don Lemon seems. This has got to have exceeded every bit of expectation that he possibly had. But here, here's the rest of that. There are lots of mistakes in medicine. So you're saying that my doctors are have bad medical care? I'm trying to understand your logic here when it comes to DEI because there's no actual evidence of what you're saying. No, I, I said, so if the standards, like, if, like let's say, uh, I think that particular thing was re referring to surgeons. Let's say a surgeon is, uh, is asked to, uh, a, <clears throat> A surgeon in training is asked to do a, a series of operations under the supervision of a senior surgeon, and they get a bunch of those operations wrong. If, 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 if that happens, and yet they are still approved to be a surgeon, the probability that someone will die, I think, at some point is high. Okay, I understand that, but that's a hypothetical. That doesn't mean it's happening. I didn't say it's happening. You, said you didn't say it was happening. I said, I said it will. You, but I said, if, 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 if we lower standards, people, people will die. <laughs> but why respond to something or put something out there that has not happened? Because I could say, you know, I don't want it to happen. I think we don't want to lower, lower standards. <laughs> I don't even really know what we're watching here, man. If you told me this was a parody, I believe it. I mean, Musk just said that he never said that was happening. He said, if we lower standards... That will happen. People will die. If we lower standards, it will happen. And Don just laughs. And he basically says, why would you talk about something that hasn't happened yet? As if we should all just cross our fingers and just wait and see what happens after we lower standards in important and difficult fields. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's insane. And when you think about it, Don Lemon's entire career and everything that led up to this interview to make this interview possible is itself an example of what happens when you lower standards. Don Lemon is the poster child for lowered standards. And if you are doubting that, if you need any more proof. You're saying that if the majority of doctors are white, are you saying that, D and there are still these inequities, right? And there's, and people still, there are still mistakes. Are you blaming DEI for that? No, I'm just, I, I, I'm very, very basically saying that if we lower standards uh, for what it takes to become uh, a board certified surgeon, uh, or, you know, an oncologist or something where, that, where the, the kind of disease we're talking about, if you make a mistake, causes someone to die, then the, the more people will die than if we don't lower the standards. Therefore, we should not lower the standards. But why do you think they're lowering the standards for minority doctors or women doctors or... That's what, the, 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 that's what that article suggested, yes. At, the, at Duke University. Okay. The evidence that I have shows that that's not true. I don't want to make fun of the guy. I mean, you guys see that. Don, Don Lemon says, the evidence I have, well, the evidence I have says you just can't even make an interview like this up. You cannot make this up. The tone deafness is impossible to believe, man. Don Lemon is either the most masterful gaslighter in history or truly is the second dumbest human alive. I mean, there's got to be a Guinness record that he qualifies here or, or like a living Darwin Award if that exists. But I mean, here's where we're at, man. In, in the hall of fame, tone deafness that is Don Lemon. He's fired from CNN. He starts his own show on a free, spree, or a free speech platform where he's free to do and say almost anything that he wants. He uses his very first moments of free speech to totally crap on Elon Musk and basically, essentially, free speech as a whole, free speech as an idea. And when that turns out to be a really dumb move, he goes back to the network that fired him for his original stupid, and again, I mean, you, you can't make this up. It was tense at moments, but you've been involved in tense interviews. Yeah. I said to him, I think it's good that people see folks like you and I who have different worldviews come together and talk, as he says, uh, have free speech. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is, if they're allowed to speak freely and to say their point of view. Apparently that doesn't matter to Elon Musk. It's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric because uh, it, it doesn't seem to matter when it's about him, questions about him from people like... People like me, Don says. Freaking Don Lemon, man. Always with the victimhood and the veiled racist nonsense. Guys, why is it so difficult for unintelligent people to just recognize that they're 
I, I guess being, I guess not recognizing that you're stupid is probably a key part of being stupid, I guess, now that I say that. But for Don Lemon, man, if bad things keep happening everywhere you go, if you keep flopping and flailing everywhere you go, it's not people like you. It's you. I mean, it is absolutely you. And I don't know what his goal is here. You know, he, I don't think he thought this whole thing through. He couldn't have possibly thought this through. And here's how you know. If you have worked something out, if you have a plan for success, then the last place you wind up is the view. Brother, I, I think getting fired by Elon Musk is something you should wear as a badge of honor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait back. to see you guys soon. You, I know, you know what I mean. I know. Well, you know, know what you mean? You know, I think somebody got to him. You think he so? He knew what he was getting into, and then no, he no. thought he could come on. He's, he's, he's not stupid. He knew what he was hiring. He's, he's a, well, Somebody well, got Tara to him. Tara Swisher calls him a toddler child. Like, what, what did you call him? Uh, I, I don't right. know. I took watch, to you, Don, watch. You're gonna see. Our thanks to Don Lemon. His full interview with Elon Musk, by the way, premieres Monday. This, this dude is such a grifter, man. He, he's a scam artist. I heard it said before, but now I'm seeing it. Don Lemon is a scam artist, man, and really. He should be ashamed of himself for taking advantage of these women on The View and the millions and millions of poor victims that actually watch that show. Don Lemon was not fired by Twitter. You don't get hired by Twitter. I mean, anyone who understands what it is understands it. You just show up and people watch, or they don't, like this show here. I mean, this dude, the fired propagandist who wasn't good enough for CNN, who had no other options or prospects, I believe that he thought that he could show up at Twitter and make some kind of crazy demands and just be treated like some sort of superstar, which might be the craziest part of this whole deal. But this is what happens, man, when you have lived an entire career as the benefactor of DEI. I mean, DEI gave everything it could to Don Lemon. And now it's taking it all away, which is honestly poetic stuff. But that's just my take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.